Boom gets you nowhere, but roundabouts are the exception. The number one cause of deaths in, the, in America for citizens age 1 through 41 is automobile accidents. Federal and state officials have utilized various strategies to attempt to alleviate this problem, including, but not limited to, requiring seatbelts, increasing law enforcement presence, and providing more visible and instructive road signs. The latest trend and most effective is the decision by lawmakers um, this is more longer, to replace stoplights and stop signs with roundabouts. Roundabouts improve track of traffic flow and efficiency and reduce costs for both the driver and the, the federal and state authorities. In addition, while it is not possible to put the value on human life, if roundabouts replace intersections, the reduction in fatal crashes will be jaw-dropping. In light of this evidence, one would think that there would be overwhelming support for roundabouts. However, this is not the case. In fact, prior to roundabouts being built, oftentimes the community reacts negatively to the building of roundabouts. To greatly improve the safety of America, the infrastructure needs to implement more roundabouts in place of the traditional intersection. Looking at various studies on roundabouts, the numbers tell the story and support the claim to build more roundabouts. Roundabouts are, more, are a more efficient way to travel. Studies done by Kansas State University show a 20% reduction in traffic delays when roundabouts replace intersections. Additionally, the IHS of intersections in three states concluded that roundabouts contribute to an 89% reduction in delays and a 56% reduction in vehicle stops. This comes from roundabout boundaries. Roundabouts can handle traffic flow, can handle more traffic flow than a traditional intersection because roundabouts are continuous and vehicles do not always have to stop. Instead, they yield. Cars proceed at slower pace but don't have to stop and start which saves significant time. In addition to the benefit of traffic flow efficiency, roundabouts save money. Roundabouts contribute less wear and tear on vehicles than traditional intersections. Drivers are not stopping and starting using their braking systems. As a result, maintenance costs drivers incurred to care for their automobiles are lower. Drivers also use less gas when they avoid stopping and starting, amounting to the additional savings due to improved um, fuel efficiency. This improved fuel efficiency is also a benefit to the environment. The less fuel we consume, the better the outcome for our environment. Not only do drivers save money when roundabouts are built, federal and state governments do as well. Traffic lights cost on average $5,000 to $10,000 a year to maintain, and they have a lifespan of about 15 to 20 years. Controversially, roundabouts um, Roundabouts compared to traffic lights have an average span of 25 to 30 years and require no maintenance or electrical, electrical costs. Also, in case of power outages, there is no need for authorities to pay an electrical company to fix the light to keep traffic flowing because the way in which people proceed on the roads is unaffected with the use of a roundabout. Not only do roundabouts save money, but most importantly, they save lives. One of the most dangerous automobile crashes occurs when a car crosses through an intersection. T-bones another car are trying to make it through a yellow, yellow light. With roundabouts, there is no scenario where a driver would feel the need to beat the light. At a signaled intersection, there are 32 places that traffic can cross paths, and there are only eight such places in a roundabout. This comes from roundabout benefit. This means that traffic paths cross four times as much as an intersection than with a traffic signal than they do while traveling through a roundabout. Roundabouts have more safety benefits than simply eliminating the need to beat the light. There's virtually no possible way for a head-on collision due to the simple fact that every car is traveling in the same direction. Thus, when a driver makes a mistake, which will inevitably happen, the chance of a collision to be fatal is reduced by up to 90%. In the year 2017, it is estimated that over 40,000 people died from automobile crashes in the United States. This is the second year in a row that the number of deaths from automobiles has risen. Hundreds of millions of dollars have been spent on research to make cars safer and campaigns to remind the public of dangers associated with, with drinking while intoxicated, driving while intoxicated, texting at the wheel, and failing to buckle up. Given, given all the efforts, it, 
to improve safety on the road, deaths, death rates continue to rise. It is time to change the way Americans drive in order to see a significant drop in the number of fatal collisions. It is impossible to stop all the collisions, but roundabouts can re reduce the severity of collisions. It is possible to reduce the amount of fatal crashes that occur at intersections by 90% by simply moder modernizing the infrastructure that America in America to include roundabouts. As the number of roundabouts in the United States grows, so does the support for roundabouts. However, the initial opinion of roundabouts is usually negative. A survey in 2001 A survey conducted in 2001 questioned drivers in three communities before and after the construction of a roundabout. 69% were not in favor of the roundabout before construction, but after construction, 63% of drivers were in favor of the roundabout. Another thing with roundabouts is the detours that they create. A lot of people don't like those, and also not every intersection can have roundabouts, especially in bigger cities with not enough space. Um, roundabouts also provide a more aesthetically pleasing intersection compared to concrete. There are roundabouts across the country with beautiful, beautiful displays in the middle. The world is constantly advancing, and as humans, we are always searching for more efficient and effective ways to, commute, to complete tasks. This holds true with regard from how we travel from place to place. Our desire to continually make advancements is exhibited in the building of roundabouts. The United States government needs to pass a bill re to require federal and state officials to examine and, when appropriate, replace intersections with roundabouts across the United States. This would not be the first time in history Congress has passed a bill revamping our country's infrastructure. President Eisenhower is known as the father of the interstate system for convincing Congress to pass the Federal Aid and Highway Act of 1956. There's been much progress on the state level with regard to constructing roundabouts, but not as much on the federal level. So with the aid from the federal government, the way Americans commute can be revolutionized, and this comes from highway history. Now, visualize a world where car crashes are not as common. So I'm sure everybody in this class has had to deal with uh, getting a car crash with somebody in your family getting a car crash with somebody in that. And the stress from that, the worry, and also how much it costs. Um, if roundabouts were put in place more at intersections, then we wouldn't have to deal with it as much. Roundabouts are the future of intersections in America. Roundabouts improve traffic flow and efficiency, which is much desired on our congested roads and in our busy lifestyle. Roundabouts also save both the driver, state, and federal authorities money. The wear and tear on automobiles is less, with the use of roundabouts in place of intersections reducing the automobile maintenance costs. Less fuel is also consumed, amounting to saving savings to both the driver and the environment. State and federal authorities spend less money less money in total maintaining roundabouts as opposed to intersections. Lastly, and most importantly, roundabouts save lives. We used to say buckle up, it saves lives. Now it needs to be circle up, it saves lives. <laughs>